Hello, everyone. <laughs> this is Bob again. And welcome once again to Modern Life of the 70s Mind. Thank you so much for taking a little time to listen to what I have to say about some good music. At least most of the time it's good. Today I'm going to be reacting to a girl that I've never reacted to before. And her name is Patty Gertie. And the song is Over the Hills and Far Away. Now this song's already like four years old. But... It had almost just about 14 million views, and somebody had mentioned her name. So I'm like, why not give it a shot? So um, I did a little bit of research on her, and I hear she's from Germany, and she's a singer-songwriter, and I think her first album came out around 2018. So this had to be a very early song of hers. So I am looking forward to hearing it. So let me get my headphones on, and I'll be right back. Hold on. All right, so why waste time? Let's just get right into this. How's that sound? Okay, again, Patty Gertie singing Over the Hills and Far Away. Here we go. They came for him one winter's night. Arrested he was bound. They said there'd been a robbery His pistol had been found I like her voice They marched him to the station house He waited till the dawn And as they led him to the dark He knew that he'd been wrong That's a cool he instrument Accused of robbery, he had the better say. He knew without an alibi, tomorrow's light would pour on his freedom. Over the hills and far away, for ten long years he'll count the days. Over the mountains and the seas, a prison. Oh, I like this. his final night of break so <laughs> i love the hurdy-gurdy that is such a cool instrument so let me get this straight we got patty gurdy playing the hurdy-gurdy i'm gonna guess that gurdy is not actually patty's last name gonna go on a limb on that one um isn't that a look at that isn't that a cool like vintage instrument i just i've, I've heard these i've seen little videos of them but I've never really watched like a full video of a hurdy gurdy, which is kind of cool. If I hadn't researched her, uh, I would have said she was Irish. Maybe I misread that. I thought I read she was German, but I don't know. Um, between the red hair and the the sound, I I don't know. Maybe I misread it. I believe this is a Nightwish remake. Now I react to a lot of Nightwish songs. I haven't reacted to this one. But I did read in one of the comments you guys had sent me that this was a, a remake of a Nightwish song. So now I'm going to have to react to Nightwish playing this song so I can compare the two. 
although I'm not sure how those would compare. Um, probably not, but either way, it's, it's now piqued my interest to um, listen to the Nightwish version of it. Uh, back to the hurdy gurdy. That is such a, like I said, it's such a cool instrument, and it is so extremely unique. And Patty seems actually quite good at playing it. Um, I could watch this for the, the longest time. What's odd about it is that you're doing like two different things. It's almost like, you know, the thing where you would tap yourself in the head and rub your stomach. Like a lot of people can't do that. You're almost doing the same thing. You're turning a crank and you're doing, it just seems like it would be a, it requires some coordination. <laughs> um, who knows? Um, but not regarding her voice, it is um, extremely strong. She's got a strong voice. It's very clear and clean and crisp. The longer I listened to her, the more I was really kind of sucked into her her music and her sound. I really, really enjoy this. So let's go ahead. I'm going to play this to the end, and then we'll talk some more. Here we go. What a cool instrument. He looks out through the bars He reads the letters that she wrote One day he'll know the taste of Yeah, that was a pretty strong ending. Hello everyone, oh. Patty here. I hope you enjoyed this music video for Over the Hills and Far Away. You can now find this song and all the other songs that I have previously released on iTunes, Spotify and she Amazon and so on. And stay tuned for more. My album is in the making. Yes. Subscribe. Bye bye. All right. So that was fun. Uh, wow, what a good song. I, I really like that. Looking at that instrument, there's a lot more strings on there than I thought it had. Tuning and maintaining that instrument's got to be a challenge at best. It's, it, like I said before, it's such a cool vintage instrument. And really, the first time I've seen it up close. Not sure you could pull that instrument off like on a cool rock stage, you know, because guitars, you're, you're jamming and stuff. I just can't see really jamming to this or oh, however you do it. I can't even coordinate it right. Uh, but it, I'm sure it sounds good. I really enjoyed this song. She sang it uh, very strong. At times, she almost sounded like she was yelling it out, which I really liked. That um, gives you confidence in the song. It gives you control of the song. And it just really stresses her emotions behind it. She Definitely took ownership of this, and uh, that, and I got to give a shout out to the cello. That added so much when you get that combination of the cello, and then the hurdy gurdy, and the red hair. <laughs> Patty had me. So, all right, let me get my headphones off, and I will be back for my final thoughts. Hold on. Okay, how good was that? <laughs> um, have you guys? heard of her i've never heard of her and if it wasn't for your recommendations i still wouldn't have heard of her and that's you know what is number one thing that i'm happy about doing this channel is that i've been able to be exposed through your guys recommendations of all these great artists and musicians that i just never would have heard of before so that's the number one reason i am happy that i've been doing this channel it's just been so much fun I know I'm all over the board when I do my reactions. I do everything from Aurora and Sigrid 
Angelina Jordan, all the way up to Nightwish and Ginger. I am all over the board, but that's my style of music. I don't have one particular style that I'm tied into. I do like female vocalists, if you haven't figured that out. But as far as the genre, I'm everywhere from singer-songwriter stuff to metallic, um, symphonic metal, I mean, and um, country. I, I like it all, because I think music is music. And a particular sound to me doesn't really matter. If I'm intrigued by the artist and their production of the song, I'm all in. So this was awesome. The first thing, obviously, that caught my ear, if you will, was that forest green hurdy-gurdy. <laughs> that is such a cool instrument. And I've never really seen anybody have that like as much in the forefront uh, as she did. And match that with her red hair and that Irish-sounding voice. She had me. <laughs> um, again, I had read she was German, although it looks Irish. But when I heard her talk at the end, it did kind of sound German. So she must just be German. Maybe she has an Irish heritage or just loves Irish music. It doesn't matter because it definitely sounded Irish to me. And it definitely sounded really good uh, to me as well. I need to learn more about this singer because I'm really intrigued. And you're definitely going to be seeing some more reactions. This is... Such a, a, a beautiful girl, beautiful voice, and a commanding voice is what's important. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. And in the links below, you will see uh, all my links to Patreon. I have a, a YouTube membership channel. Both of those are only five bucks for the membership. And it gives you access to a lot of extra videos and stuff like that. Plus, you support me. Because I do want to upgrade my camera. I need a, a better camera for this. Although this is good. It's just not kind of like how I'd like it. So if any support you can give me would be great. That's enough. All right, guys. Peace out. I will talk to you next time, okay? Bye.